Next, we'll add some text to our image post. Now to do that, we need the type tool. So you can either press the T key on the keyboard or you can go to the type tool in the tools panel and click on it there. At which point you will see that type formatting options appear in the options bar across the top. There's only a handful, font family, style, size and alignment and possibly the chance to change the color as well if you wish to. From here, what we will do is we will hover our cursor over the middle of our artboard, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag out to the lower right hand side to create a text frame. Um, I tend to suggest make your text frames slightly larger than what you think you need them to be, just so you've got room to work with. And then when I let go of the left mouse button, here you'll see we have our text frame and inside of it we have placeholder text. So this appears in the event that you don't have any copy to work with so that you can format the look of that. In our case, we don't need it. So it is highlighted and you can just start typing and it'll remove that inside of the text frame. Now for us, we need to type in our own title. So this is going to be Patagonia, which as you can see, needs formatting. So it needs to at least look bigger. So I'm going to use the properties panel for this. I could of course use the options bar, but you'll notice that at the moment it's using a font called Miria Pro and the size of the text is, well, it's just under 12 points. So I'll make sure the type is selected. I'm going to click on the drop down menu for the font family. And I'm going to use an Adobe Creative Cloud font, which is called Flood Standard. And the next thing I'll do is change the size of the text because it is very small at the moment. Uh, it's certainly too small for social media. So I'm going to change the size of this to 72 points. Now I can click on the drop down menu for font size. 72 is a preset and that's looking a lot better. Now the next line of text down, it's going to be too large to fit the text in. So I'm going to change the font family to Myriad Pro and then the size of the text crucially to 30 points now. And then I can type in my title, which will be Summer Trek. And then I'm going to use the pipe symbol that's just adjacent to the return key in the keyboard. And then uh, add the date in there, which will be the 7th to the 28th of July. The space between these two lines is a little tight at the moment. The G in Patagonia is dropping and almost crashing into the text in the next line down. So if I highlight all the text in that second line and then go to the field across from the font size, which is leading, and that controls the gaps between each line. I'm going to set that to 48 points to ultimately achieve better space between the two lines. Now with all that text formatted, we can look at reducing the size of the actual text frame itself. And the reason I say that is because if you leave your text frame larger than it really needs to be, you'll be forever clicking on it by accident when you're trying to move your composition around. Now to do that, if you hover your cursor over the edge handles at the bottom and the left hand side and the right hand side and drag those towards the middle, you can reduce the size. When you're done, you can click on the tick in the options bar to finalize creating that text frame. And then I can switch to my move tool and reposition that as required. And you can then see in the layers panel, if I drag it out, that our newly created text layer now appears in the post one artboard. If we wish to re-edit the text, double left click on the thumbnail in the layers panel. You go to type editing mode, it selects all the text in there. And to finish type editing, you can always hit the escape key on the keyboard. So that's how you add new text layers to Photoshop.